the St. Pauli Elbe Tunnel at 6 a.m. in the morning. Fresh concrete being delivered as work to renovate the tunnel proceeds apace. A moment. We're bang on schedule at the moment. In shape for the next 100 years in this edition of Port is What We Do. The work of the construction site of the St. Pauli Elbe Tunnel continues and today we got an exclusive view behind the scenes. We join project manager Neil Tevis to take a look at how they're laying the concrete. We test all the concrete here on site before it's installed. As you can see here, we measure its spread potential. The concrete is put in a funnel and released in a controlled manner. Then we measure the diameter of the disc formed, and in our case it has to be 70 to 76 centimetres. You just saw us doing that, and it worked out as it should have done. So the concrete's fine and can be installed. Good news for the team, they can get on with the job. The concrete runs through this pipe you can see here and down into the wall shuttering. We want to take a closer look at this and to do so we go down the western tunnel which is currently being renovated. Concrete laying work is in full swing. The fresh concrete needs to be worked quickly. Today we're making one block and here you can see the finished concrete block. First we pour the floor blocks, then the walls and finally the vault and we repeat this along the length of the tunnel. From the Steinwetter end, you can see the individual renovation steps very clearly. So let's do that. Via the completed eastern tunnel, we reach the tubing in the west tunnel. These ring-shaped steel girders make the old tunnel leak-proof and very stable. They've been doing that for 111 years. It's precisely this fascinating tubing construction which is going to disappear completely behind concrete over the next five to ten days. It's a bit sad that it won't see the light of day for the next 100 years. The St. Pauli Elk Tunnel is regarded as a showpiece of historical engineering and offers lots of challenges. We can't get rid of all the material in one go because it would be too much. The tunnel would become lighter and rise up higher. That's why we first renovate the upper tunnel section, putting in new material, that is concrete. All of it. And once that's done, then we start with the lower tunnel section. Due to its age and complexity, renovating this very popular Hamburg landmark is a piece of impressive construction engineering. Because you shouldn't forget, it's all happening underwater. You can't stop water getting into the tunnel even once it's done. It's not a frightening amount, but it does have to be drained away and that's why we need to seal the tunnel. The St. Pauli Elbe Tunnel is more than just a way of getting from A to B. It's a real passion project. I've known this tunnel since I was a child as someone raised in Hamburg and I still love it. Port is what we do. 